everyone welcome to watch it paint it in this video i wanted to show you how i made the base for the joker's daughter tutorial that i did now i was going for a sort of road like asphalty sort of gravel a bit granite granite a bit rocky you could use it for multiple different things sort of an alien terrain or sort of you know standard pavements now citadel do have a technical paint which is astro granite debris and i think it gets a fairly similar look and feel to to what i'm going to show you how i did it uh de depending how you apply it i think you can get it looking a bit more like asphalt or quite like a rocky alien terrain now this video i thought might be useful because a you might be like me and you've just got some sterling mud kicking around the place that's what i'm going to be using to to for a similar effect and i think the paint's probably the technical paint's probably really really similar this is just a brown version and i don't have the astro granite debris to hand to to double check but i imagine it's fairly similar just some lumpy gray texture instead of lumpy brown texture so like me you might just have this available and i thought the video is quite useful because sometimes we forget you can mix paints you can adapt paints you can create the same effects going a little bit around the houses it's going to save you a few pounds you know what is it five dollars four pounds something like that for one of these big pots so if you like me you just want the single base it's going to save you a bit of money so i'm using a cheap brush here and i'm just thinly applying this all over a, a clear base an empty base that i'm going to apply the model to once this is all done so not being particularly careful with my brush it's 10 cents i wouldn't recommend using a good brush some people use sort of little sculpting tools to apply this with so that's another option you've got but i've got a cheap brush so i'll use it once that's dry so this is the bit i think you'd avoid using the astro granite debris and that's making it gray so i'm using necromancer cloak a very very dark gray and i'm going to be applying that again with with this cheap brush because i don't need any accuracy so why wear out any of my nice brushes plus it's quite rough it's gonna you know rough up my bristles ruffle my bristles and i you know i don't want to don't know to put any wear and tear on my fancy pants brushes but this one don't mind so yep just applying it it's, it's fairly watered down a good good 25 percent 50 percent i'm getting a good coverage because i don't mind it going on a bit too thick but at the same time i just want it to seep and cover the the base very very quickly so then again we're gonna have to let that dry especially because i watered it down quite a bit it's gonna take a little bit of time to dry so this is the bit where if you're painting a whole bunch of this i'd probably pick up the paint especially for this but if it's just one like me just the occasional one and you've got sterling mud save yourself a trip to the shops right so once that's dry i'm going to apply some black shader survivor shader null oil would be fairly similar and i'm just going to put a drop on the, the base itself and then just work it work it around again using this cheap brush and just spreading it until it's an even thin coat all over the the base and that's going to seep into some of the recesses that were created and basically just run off of all the bumps that i want to sort of poke up as though it's that sort of gravelly tarmacky surface it's not a very good tarmacky surface i wouldn't want to drive my car along it but it's going to look quite nice on the miniature nice simple one then i'm going to be dry brushing on that original necromancer cloak that dark gray i'm going to do quite a heavy dry brush for, to, to begin with so i'm going to be catching all all of the little lumps and bumps bring them all back to that nice dark gray color which is just going to leave that black wash just in the recesses and then after that has dried once again we're going to do another layer of dry brushing this is necromancer cloak mixed with filthy suit 50 50 the old filthy necromancer here and this is going to be a lighter dry brush there's less paint on my brush there's really very little coming off and i'm going to scrape that along very very lightly catching all of those very big raised rocks rocks little lumps lumps in this technical paint and you can see it's bringing some highlighting into this model and giving it a nice 3d effect making it look nice and deep and detailed very very interesting now i think this step is one that you would want to do with that that debris technical paint although it comes in gray i think you would want to highlight it up with a with a lighter gray in between and then we're going to do a final highlight and this is going to be a very very light highlight so this is only going to catch the most raised rocks the biggest ones and this is just with neat filthy suit which is the brightest gray i have other than going to white and and you could go to white you could do an even lighter dry brush of something white and gray you know a very 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 bright bright gray and i think that could look nice as well i'm not going to risk it i'm going to go with subtle for this one because i really 
I was quite proud of the miniature that I painted and didn't want to draw too much attention away from it. I didn't want to make the base the focal point, keep it on the miniature. So a nice, plain, simple, but effective base. A lot more interesting than a plain black one. And as with most of the bases, I'm just going to paint in the rim of the base using dead black and just to, to tidy that up and makes it look really, really neat. A, a base just looks so fantastic. Once you've put this on, it really, really tidies it up nicely. Then I'm going to glue the miniature to it, and you could have a whole bunch of miniatures. I think this would work with a, a, a wide range. Anybody would be walking on, on sort of human urban terrain, or you could use it a lot thicker, a lot lumpier, make it look like some rocky terrain. Again, it's perfectly fine on Earth, but alien planets and such. So let me know in the comments below if you've got any sort of other paint hacks like that that you might just have to do if you haven't got the paint available let me know if you'd like to see some more videos like this as always you've watched it now go and paint it and i'll see you again soon